What is going on guys, Jack95Gamer here and I'm back with episode 98 of my West Ham United next gen career mode and in this episode here we are in the international break and we do have games against fellow South Americans Peru and I believe Russia which is the game we are going to play today. And I think it's a well deserved international break, you know, I think we needed it because you know, we've just played games against Liverpool and Manchester United and you could tell the team was starting to feel a bit tired. You know, I think we need to freshen up some tactics and, you know, I'm happy to have this international break come there. You know, that draw against United was definitely frustrating, but we need to come out, you know, after the break, we need to get a win. You know, there's only a two-point gap between us and Chelsea and I'm hopeful now we can hopefully close the gap between us, you know, because they are a great side, Chelsea, and they're going to be so hard to catch up once they get going. But anyway, we do go into our first game here and it is a game against Russia. And we all know what Russia can do, how good of a team they are. We saw them in the World Cup, what they can do. And got home advantage here, and it's going to be a difficult game. It's going to be a good test for Brazil, and we'll see how far we actually have come along as a nation since I took over as a national head coach. You know, Russia is not really a nation I have too. I'm too fond of. You know, I'm not I've got enough background information on it. I don't know the players that well. I don't really follow the Russian league, so it's going to be interesting to see what players actually do stand out in this game. As we win the ball in the second minute from dispossession from Sandro, Sandro then plays it into Hulk down the wing. Hulk gets the first time ball in, looking for Coutinho of all people, but he does miss that header, and Russia do get the ball out there. 23 minutes in there, we're still in the attack with a throw in. It falls all the way to Coutinho back to Hulk, but we do lose the ball, and Russia now looks to hit us on the counter attack, but they actually do give the ball away to Hulk. Uh, and Hulk flicks it over the top into Neymar. Neymar with a first time shot, but unfortunately his effort is saved there on that occasion. Now, we keep the ball down here and Russia went straight from a goal kick, but Neymar dispossesses the defender, sees the run from Hulk. Hulk is through on goal now. The Brazilian lines up the shot, and obviously he does play his football in Russia, and he does score here. So it's quite familiar surroundings here for Hulk as he do, does blaze Brazil 1 0 up, just half an hour gone in this game. And I was quite pleased with that effort there. Because I do think Hulk is a good player, and I'm happy he's got the goal now because he's very underrated in my opinion. In this game, in real life, he's terrible. But in this game, I think a lot of people are overlooking, but I think he's quite overpowered, and I'm glad he's got that goal there as we do make it 1-0. But Russia, being the team they are, they will never give up here, and the heads don't drop as Denisov picks up the ball here right before half-time, and he plays it into Desbala, who wins that off of David Luiz there. You know, the, the player just didn't give up. You know, he wanted it more, and you know, they deserved that goal there, Russia. You know, they just... I don't know what the hell David Luiz was doing, but he got his body ahead of Luiz and just as simple as finished into the back of the net. Moving to the second half now, the ball does get played into Sandro. Sandro running with the ball, he's going to take a shot from range there, and that was a great shot, and unfortunately he just couldn't find the back of the net. I was gutted, but you know, we just have to live and learn from this. 70 minutes in there, Russia pick up the ball, does Bala the goal scorer, gets challenged by Sandro, only for Russia to win it back. Back with the goal scorer now, who puts a great ball over the top into Glushmakov. I think that's how you say his name, but like his shot is well, well past the goal there, and that doesn't matter for anything. But they do win a corner here, and they do put it in. They find their centre back, and it's off the post, and it is cleared away there. Russia are putting loads of pressure on series. They pick up the ball here with Denisov, but the ball does eventually do, do does get cleared away. I don't know what I was saying there. 89 minutes in, and Russia have ended this game so strongly. As they put the ball in here, a great header away here though from Brazil, and they keep their wits about them, or do they? Here comes Russia again. Buzz look. Plays it into Shatov. Shatov loses it though to Neymar. Neymar puts it over the top. And like I said, I'm trying to implement this. And I've been doing it at West Ham. But we're trying to turn defence into attack. As Pato now is through on goal. Can we steal a win here? He takes a shot. It's blocked. Neymar, can he get there? No. Great defending from Russia. And the game does finish at 1-1. Very well played there from both teams. You know, and we just couldn't complete a win over Russia on this time out. But, no, it's a great friendly. We can take a lot away from it. But... Back onto BPL action now after the international break and we have got a game against Norwich at Upton Park. We're going to start our full strength side. You know, I'm happy with this. You know, Chelsea, like I said, they were two points ahead of us after all games played. And they, I'm, I'm assuming they've won their game in hand now. So it's going to go back up to five points. So disappointing, but we have to see here. As you can see, yeah, it has gone to a five point gap. But we've got a game in hand here. We can close the gap back to two with a must win game here against Norwich. Great side they're looking these like these days, you know, Nathan Redmond looks grown to an absolute superstar from Norwich. And you know, they're playing him as a kind of like a striker, weird formation there. But in the first five minutes, Fabian Sharp picks up the ball, plays into Melanda, and again we just just shows how fast we can get into attack and get us into uh, our gears here. As Balotelli gets rolled through from Oscar and check that out from the big man. He gets his goal. Mario Balotelli only takes him seven minutes to hit the score sheet there. But West Ham do break the deadlock. 
It only took, like I said, seven minutes to do it, and the Italian celebrates his goal. And like I said, he's absolutely priceless to this team. He's a great player, and I'm so happy he is a hammer. £50 million, like I said, I'll say it again and again, is an absolute steal for him as he rolls that ball into the back of the net. Great finish there, 1-0 hammers. Nuric trying to get back into the game now as Bassong picks up the ball. They're trying to start their attack now from the back. No, he runs forward with the ball, plays it into Asuna, plays back into Johnson. And a great ball over the top finds Redman. We're stretching the back as Redman dribbles in and that, plays it into Johnson again. Johnson with the shot, but it's a good save there from Thibault Courtois. Fabian Shah picks up the ball here, and again he's starting all attacks here, but he actually does get his ball dispossessed there. And the centre back's out of position as Olsen plays the ball here. He gets actually fouled by Milan, but he does shows great strength to keep on the ball. Falls to Nathan Redmond. Redmond heads it down into Asabula, who shoots from range, and that is a great goal from the Norwich striker. Now take nothing away from him. What a finish that was. What a great finish. I'm actually I'm left in shock. I could not believe it. You know, just outside the box, Courtois, no chance, and Norwich are back on terms there with a great goal. Now they're looking to go 2-1 up as they get another opportunity. He's headed away from Oscar, though. Balotelli trying to use his strength to get the ball, but, you know, his presence was enough to misplace the pass there from Norwich defender. And Oscar plays in Lucas, who's through on goal just like this on the counter-attack, which West Ham have been strong in all season, and he finishes it to make it 2-1 hammers. Norwich's lead only lasted a matter of minutes, but West Ham find themselves back on top yet again for a great finish there from Lucas and a pretty uh, weird celebration there from a Brazilian but you know he has all the time in the world it was always going to be 2-1 no chance goalkeeper hammers 2-1 Norwich trying to get back into the game here yet again a couple of minutes afterwards as Whitaker picks up the ball looks for that ball but Stephen Corbin looks like he's got it under control back past the Courtois Courtois I don't know what he was doing here plays it into Montoya then Montoya uh, his pass is blocked and somehow falls to Asifua who puts the ball into the back of the net the scrappiest goals you're going to see all season. I'm I was I was fuming at West Ham at this point. I could not believe it. 2-2 two, two the game there. And check that out. It's the most scrappiest goal you're ever going to see. And Courtois could do nothing about that as Norwich are back on terms. Looking to make it now. 3-2 Norwich. They come in attack again. Asifu on his hat-trick. Gets challenged by Courtois. West Ham now into Strootman. Trying to turn the defence into attack. You know, once we get the ball, we just bomb players forward. Here's Oscar with the opportunity to make it 3-2. Oscar! Great save there from the goalkeeper. Moving to the second half now. Olsen onto the ball. Does well to get the ball out here. Because it's only as far as Junior Melander. Struitman picks up the loose ball. Oscar with the ball yet again. Who's going to shoot from range. And oh my word. It was nearly a great goal that he scored against Newcastle. Again, unfortunately couldn't find back in it. But from the resulting corner. Corker wins the header. Falls to Struitman from range. Melander goes to get the ball. And he's brought down into the box. And the referee has no mistake there, no hesitation of pointing to the spot to award West Ham a well-deserved penalty. You know, that's the first penalty I've seen in a while, which I think is justified. He, Milana took the ball down and checked that out. He, he took him out from behind. I don't know what he was thinking, but this could definitely be the death of Norwich here if we put this ball into the back of the net. Because how many times can they keep coming back? Fabian Shah is going to step up for this one. We're not going to give it to Balotelli. We're actually going to give this one to Fabian Shah. And the centre-back steps up for his penalty. Steps up, takes it. Goalkeeper guesses the right way, stays down in the middle, but it had too much height on the ball. And Fabian Sharp, the Swiss centre back, our super centre back, does make it 3 2 as West Ham celebrate a lead. Once again, in this game, for the third time, we do take the lead. And hopefully, we keep the lead now because Norwich have got two, not, you've got one good goal and one scrappy goal, but I'm, I can't see them get another goal back here. I'll be shocked if they do. But in the 58th minute, they clear a ball forward here. Kulka uses initiative to get the ball back there. You know, that centre back never gives up, and that's why he's captain. You know, he just gives his heart for the team. Now on the counter attack with Oscar, cuts inside of his man. Oscar shoots from range, off the crossbar, falls to Lucas. Easiest goal you're going to score all season. 4 2 to the Hammers. You know, and you have to say, Stephen Kulka's got to take a claim for that because he did create the attack. Just, it just shows if you never give up on the ball, you, you win it back, you can just hit on the counter attack. That's what West Ham is so good at this season. Like I said, hitting teams on the counter attack, and we've done it here. You know, Oscar, break forward, you know, <laughs> lucky deflection off the crossbar, I have to say. Nothing goalkeeper could do there, but Lucas does make it 4-2. But here come Norwich trying to get a goal back here, 84 minutes in. Ronaldo loses the ball, plays it into Lucas. Balote over the top, Timo Werner's now all of a sudden through on goal. Just like this, Timo Werner's put the game to bed. It is 5-2, Timo Werner, who else? But the one to sub, that is Timo Werner. Like I said, he's a great player, and he couldn't go up any higher in my book. You know, in the game where Suso was quiet, it's also good to get someone like Timo Werner on who can change a game. 
with his pace, you know, one of them will definitely be on form in the game. And it's always good knowing you've got that backup option that can come on and score a goal, and he's done it here, Werner. Great finish there as the Hammers look to be sailing into a clinical three points here. But the game is not over at 87 minutes. Harrison gets an opportunity. Corker completely messes up, gives Harrison the opportunity. It is challenged. Actually, the recovery was well, but it falls to Ronaldo, and he does make it 5-3, 89 minutes in. And that is surely not going to be a Norwich comeback here. It's a consolation goal, and you know, they're celebrating it. All due respect to Norwich, they gave us a great game, and this is definitely up there as one of the games of the season, in my opinion. What a game this has been, but West Ham's attacking threat has just been too much, and the attack... You can't you, you can't handle our attack, and West Ham will get out of here for three, uh, a crucial three points here, and you know that's that's good for our BPL stands. But anyway, guys, that is going to bring an end to the episode. If you did enjoy it, show me a great indication by smashing that like button, guys, because you've been not hitting them targets lately, and I want to see him be hit. So make sure you, you definitely smash that like button, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button too if you're not already subscribed. Have a nice day, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.